the name the name on the book is Meshakasari. So I didn't read uh, write the book. But people who get uh, inspiration as we mentioned. And also uh, this man, the author, the person who wrote the story, he used to live in Accra. He was an Ashanti man, so he has lived in the forest area for a long time. Then he came to the coast. He knows the forest and he also came to the coast and you could see the big the big sea and the uh, people uh, on the shore. The canoe men who uh, go fishing and they bring in the fish. So he could connect the work of the fishermen and the work of the tree sellers in the forest. So uh, he wrote this story to show that the trees in the forest, maybe you see the trees in the forest and you think, oh, it's a tree. The trees being in the forest, they, are, they play a very important role in our life. They give, the trees give us shade, we get fruits from some trees, we get animals who also live under the protection of the trees, we get food because the trees are there, certain crops can grow and we also get some food to eat. But at the coast, you know, there are people there also who are also uh, making their living and they live by fishing. And to go to the sea, you have to have a boat. So what do you use to make a boat? It's a tree. So the story in effect is saying that the trees in the forest are being cut to be used as boats or canoes uh, at the seashore. But it is important that the, uh, the people do that because the, the fishermen have to eat and the people in the forest also have to eat. So we have to help each other. And he said, if you read the book, you say that, you see that the author is saying that as we cut the trees, we must plant new ones so that the land doesn't become a desert. Because if there are no trees anywhere, we are going to have a desert. And a desert is not a very good place to stay. It's not comfortable at all. Any more questions?